percent. It cannot be. So, uh, because of this simple reason, it's not useful for aqidah, but it's it, it is useful for uh, practice, for actions, for prayers, for deeds uh, in this religion. الذين كذبوا بالكتاب those who denied the book and that which we sent our messengers وما أرسلنا به رسلنا فسوف يعلمون soon they will come to know فسوف يعلمون they are the people and in the ayah number 69 they are disputing the signs of the only one God this is the most important thing in, our, in the life of human being the signs of the Creator, the signs of the only one God. They dispute in it, although there is no doubt in it. قَالَتْ لَهُمْ رُسُلُهُمْ أَفِ اللَّهِ شَكٌّ Their messengers said to them, Is there any doubt in the existence of the only one God? There is no doubt in that, but they, although that certainty, they dispute, they dispute, they are disputing in that matter. Plus, الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِالْكِتَابِ They denied the book. When you come to the science of the only one God, they are disputing that matter. And when you come to the book, they are denying. الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِالْكِتَابِ They say, uh, this is not true. They say this is lie. الذين كذبوا بالكتاب They denied the book. وبما أرسلنا به رسلنا So this is actions after actions. First, first, at the first hand, they dispute the signs of only one God and then they deny the book. الذين كذبوا بالكتاب وبما أرسلنا به رسلنا And that with which we sent our messengers. فسوف يعلمون Soon they will come to know how was important their crime and how was uh, high, how they were criminals in their life through these actions they will come to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a stern warning and this is a clear threat for them uh, like the ayah وَيْلٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ Wow, that day for the denier, to the deniers. وَيْلٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ Those who deny, although they are certain about that truth, but they deny deliberately and they dispute the signs of only one God, although they are certain about its truth. This is a clear crime. فَسَوْفَ يَعْلَمُونَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala threatening them and say soon they will come to know and Allah will punish them. How? Let's move on to the ayah number 71 to see how they will be punished for, this, for these crimes. إِذِ الْأَغْلَالُ فِي أَعْنَاقِهِمْ When the iron colors الأغلال, في أعناقهم, will be rounded over their necks إذ الأغلال في أعناقهم والسلاسل and the chains so it means that the chains will be attached to the iron colors and يسحبون the keepers of the hell they will drag them along on their face يسحبون they will be dragged along إذ الأغلال في أعناقهم the iron collars will be will be rounded over their necks والسلاسل and the chains يسحبون they will be dragged along there في الحميم in the boiling water في الحميم ثم then after boiling water ثم في النار يسجرون they will be burned in the fire ثم في النار يسجرون so firstly they will be in the boiling water and then uh, they will be 
uh, dragged along to the fire. Uh, this is like the ayah يَطُوفُونَ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَ حَمِيمٍ آن Sometime they will be in the fire, in the boiling water uh, and then they will be dragged to the fire يَطُوفُونَ Sometime there, sometime there يَطُوفُونَ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَ حَمِيمٍ آن They will go uh, between the fire and the boiling water and there is uh, many ayats explains that skin uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ha, says هذه جهنم التي يكذب بها المجرمون this is the fire which the criminals used to deny هذه جهنم التي يكذب بها المجرمون يطوفون بينها وبين حميم آن they will be uh, uh, they will went, they will go between the boiling water and the fierce hell. ثُمَّ إِنَّ مَرْجِعَهُمْ لَإِلَى الْجَحِيمِ And after the boiling water, they will drink from that boiling water. فَإِنَّكُمْ لَشَارِبُونَ شُرْبَ الْهِيمِ They will drink from that boiling water like the thirsty camels. After هذا نزلهم يوم الدين and it it's, will be their entertainment uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the hereafter Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this will be sad to them uh, to rebuke them and ridicule them uh, to humiliate them ثم في النار يسجرون after that boiling water they will be dragged along to the fire in order Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will burn them there ثم في النار يسجرون ثم قيل لهم after that it will be said to them أينما كنتم تشركون there are all those whom you used to consider partners أينما كنتم تشركون where those who you uh, associated with Allah سبحانه وتعالى أينما كنتم تشركون You are now suffering in this fire You are now in very difficult situation in very difficult torture Where are your deities? Why don't they come and help you? أينما كنتم تشركون You claim that they have some powers they you claim that they will come and take you to the Jannah. You claim that they have some authorities from Almighty God. Do you claim that they will guard you, they will help you, they will take you to the Jannah? You claim that when they say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this was my... Uh, my people or this was my near so let him go to the Jannah you claim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not chastise you will not punish you because of them there though where are those why don't they come and help you and Allah Azza wa Jal said shirk those whom you associated with Allah Azza wa Jal so we understand that these people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about them that the iron collars will be round over their necks and the chains and they will be dragged along on their, upon their faces in the boiling water and then they will be burned in the fire this punishment, this torment is for those who associated partners with Allah Azza wa Jal because it will be said to them Aynama kuntum tushrikun there are all those whom you used to consider whom you used to use or whom you used to associate uh, partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala min dunillah besides Allah Azza wa Jal 
there are the partners, there are the associates besides Allah Azza wa Jal. Why don't they come and help you? Why don't you call upon them? In your life, you used to call upon them and you used to believe that they help you and they, they are they aware and they are uh, about you. Why now they do not have any benefit for you? Aynama kuntum tushrikuna min dunillah. They said, Qalu dallu anna. Qalu dallu anna. They answered and said, They have vanished from us. Dallu anna. They have gone away from us. They are not with us. They didn't come and help us. Qalu dallu anna. And here is important. Bal lam nakun. ندعو من قبل شيئا they say بل لم نكن ندعو من قبل شيئا we were not calling upon anything or we didn't call upon anything بل لم نكن ندعو من قبل شيئا here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeats the relation between calling upon someone calling upon a deity, calling upon an idol, calling upon a thing that it is the same as associating something with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the same because Allah azza wa jal or the angels said to them, Aynama kuntum tushrikun, there are those whom you considered partners, besides Allah Azza wa Jal min dunillah and in their answer they say qalu dallu anna they have vanished from us bal lam nakun nad'u min qablu shay'a nay we did not call upon a thing uh, any, uh, uh, certainly we didn't call upon anything lam nakun nad'u min qablu shay'a so in their answer, it's clear that they were making shirk, they were committing shirk by calling upon others beside Allah Azza wa Jal. And with this ayah, the ayah number 74, this issue, this matter, repeated for the third time in this surah. The relationship, the relation between calling upon others beside Allah Azza wa Jal and that it is exactly the shirk it is the shirk when you call upon others and believe that it they will hear you or it will hear you 